back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm still wearing the same shirt I had on in my last video. Um, I filmed this all on the same day. Um, I'm trying to get this all done with being sick. I've been sick for about a week. My voice has just recently finally came back to where I feel like I can actually talk and um, be like a normal person. So um, anyway, I hope you all are having a great day and let's get into it. As you can see, I'm going to be unboxing my February BoxyCharm. Um, for those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm, while I open this, BoxyCharm is a monthly $21 a month subscription, except for every three months they do an upgrade for a BoxyLux, which is an additional, um, additional cost. So anyway, we're just going to be looking at the regular box today. That's $21 a month. You do have to subscribe to the regular box before. So you would need to subscribe this month if you want to get the boxy Lux um, in March. So um, hopefully y'all will like what's in this box. Hopefully I will like what's in this box after the fiasco of last month where most of the products I had already received before I've got high hopes for this box. I know a couple of the items that are in here, so let's get into it. So we open it up and yes, it looks like this. <laughs> Sorry, I see this tub right here. Anyway, it always comes with a pamphlet. <clears throat> and the theme this month is Afterglow. And then it lists all the products on the back. <clears throat> anyway, I know a couple of the items in here. I know that we're getting this product right here the by Tarte or not by Tarte by Too Faced better than sex mascara um, I'm not gonna open this yet because I still have my mascara from last month to get through so um, we'll we'll see if this is better than sex <clears throat> it better be some stinking good mascara for it to be to stand on the grounds of it's better than sex. Anyway, the next item that I see in here is their no pore breath uh, or uh, come on Terry is by Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer. Let's see what this looks like. It's definitely a cream. It's not silicone-y, so it feels really nice. It doesn't really have a smell to it except your typical skincare. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Let me wipe off my fingers. The next item that I see in here, I'm trying to save that thing for last, is by, what is this? This is the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Copper Foil. Looks like this. I don't know what what company is this. Oh, it's by Nude Stick. Let's open this up and see if I can figure out. Hmm. Come on. Here we go. It's over here. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of this coppery color. I don't know if this is my shade or not. But here's what it looks like on my wrist. Can you see it right there? Right here. It's a pretty decent color. I can probably um, wear this alone. as eye color so I could probably wear this alone or pair it with something else um, the next item I love their packaging this is by pretty vulgar this is their bronzed uh, their bronzer you were supposed to either get the bronzer or the let's open it up I love their packaging everything looks so vintage and here's what the color looks like. It's this caramely brown, soft. Let's 
see what it looks like next to that. Here's what that bronzer looks like. I've been wanting a bronzer, so this will come in handy. And that actually looks like a pretty decent shade for my face. So I'm looking forward to that. It's very pigmented. I like that. But like I said, I love their packaging. All their packaging has this vintage look to it. Um, it looks very girly. I'm not a very girly girly girl, if that even is a word. <laughs> but um, I really love their packaging. It, it just makes me feel like I'm with my grandma and we're, we're in, at her house when we're messing around in her makeup and stuff before she comes home and catches us. Um, let's see what it's been telling me. And I haven't told you anything like that. Uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is $24. It says, indulge in a mascara that actually lives up to its name. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara separates, coats, and curls each last to a voluptuous perfection. Acai Senegal Tree Extract sets volume while the firm forming polymers, locks your lashes, and a perfect curl. The Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Bee Bronzer, which is what I have here. This vegan matte bronzing powder gives your skin a natural, radiant looking finish. Enriched with ultra smooth, oil free, lightweight pigments, this bronzer allows for easy blending and perfect coverage. Hmm. Alrighty. Glad that it's vegan. And the Touch of Soul No Problem Primer is, oh, the Pretty Vulgar is $32. The Touch of Soul is $18. Create a seamless camlet, camless. Uh, canvas for your foundation. The light, silky texture blurs, pores, and wrinkles, giving your skin a soft velvet feel. Green tea and collagen act as adhesives holding on tight to your makeup for hours of flop. We'll see. We may have to test that out and see if it actually holds on to my makeup and keeps it tight for many hours of flawlessness. And then the nude stick, which is $24. This is $24. I wouldn't pay $24 for this. A super long wearing eyeshadow pencil that is soft, super gliding, and easy to blend. The Nude Stick Magnetic Luminous Eye Color is the ultimate multitasker to achieve intense color, precise lining, and primes eyelids for all day waterproof wear to ensure your nude glam lasts. Hmm, $24. That's interesting that I could use this to prime my eyelids. Hmm. All right, we'll have to try that. <clears throat> and the last item in this box, I got the Bum Bum Cream, and I couldn't stand that stuff because it just, I don't know what it was with that product. I just didn't like the smell of it. So I'm hoping, beyond hope, that I'm going to like the smell of this. Now, I've heard people say it smells like popcorn. I'm hoping mine smells like popcorn. I love pop popcorn. Um, coconut, not so much. So if this smells like coconut or anything resembling that, I won't be, I probably won't like this because that's why I didn't like that bum bum cream because it, it had this nappy coconut, I don't know, smell. So let's see. And this is actually bigger than that bum bum cream. So... We got a safety seal and we're peeling it off. Come on, come on, girl. Here we go. All right, popcorn. Please be a popcorn smell. Yeah, it does. It smells like popcorn. Here's what it looks like. Yes, it smells like popcorn. I'm looking forward to trying this one, unlike I did the other one. Let's see. Let's try it out. Ooh. Well, I will use it 
I didn't like the smell that I just smelled. That didn't smell good. I don't know. So what is this supposed to do? The Sole de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream instantly transforms dry, dehydrated, irritated skin into its softest, bounciest, most luxurious version of itself. Its oil and water gel cream texture kisses the body with a cocoa sugar blend. Cocoa sugar. Of fermented sugar and nourishing coconut oil to draw, hug, and... Oh, no. Nourishing coconut oil to draw, hold, and hug moisture for up to 72 hours. Deliciously scented with their Chiroza... 39 fragrance with mouth-watering notes of coconut, toasted praline, and warm vanilla latte. Is that what I'm smelling? Is the praline cookies? Something smells... I, I can smell the toasted, and that's what's smelling weird. It smells almost burnt. Oh, I don't know. But... I will use it just like I used up all my bum bum cream. I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy with this. I mean, I smell the, I smell the buttered popcorn smell. It's probably because of the sugar and the, um, the pralines. It's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling that praline smell. It's those cookies. Anyway. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you all are having a great evening. As you noticed in this pa in uh, this one, there wasn't no there wasn't an eyeshadow palette, so I'm happy about that. I'm overrun with eyeshadow palettes right now, so um, I'm going to enjoy being able to go through the rest of my stuff and play with the stuff that I just got. And um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. Uh, please let me know if we're boxy twins, if you have any comments about the products that I received in this box, um, if you would like me to dig a little bit deeper into the Coco Cabana cream, let me know down in the comments. If you love that Coco Cabana cream, please leave a comment down in, in the comments because we all would love to hear what everyone's opinion is. Everyone's opinion is useful and helpful and, um... I value everyone's opinion. So I hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.